Diane Williams has closed down on Tony Hodgkinson. Anne Williams getting after Diane. Diane running very positively at the moment. When Diane started the foundation, I imagined she thought there was something that could be improved upon for what was available at the time. I've been involved with the Diane Medal Sports Foundation for about three years now. Um, you know, it's made things, you know, make more sense, you know, in terms of what I want to do for the future. Having people that have experienced it before, like Diane, has really helped to inspire me and open doors that I didn't know could be opened. There's a lot of confidence to be gained from competing and being involved in sport. The opportunity to meet people, to compete, to grow as a human being, to learn how to win and how to lose is just really invaluable life experience. It's Diane Williams, quite happy to take up the pace. She doesn't want a fast kicker's race at the end and tucking in with her is Anne Williams. I think the main challenge is, is has to be financial because there are a lot of parents that don't have the money to get their kids on maybe two, three buses to get down to a running track or to go pay for spikes, a new bag. Everything costs money and spikes are there. Spikes cost a lot of money. You know, there's times I have to go and pick up kids myself just to get them here because I can see the talent that they've got and I don't want them to waste it. We are roughly 60% free school meals. So for those students, you know, they're, they're at a disadvantage. They don't have the funds to actually access some of the training in the clubs and some of the equipment as well. You know, through the foundation, a lot of the students are actually provided with kit and trainers so that they've got the right equipment. You know, a lot of students when they're in PE are wearing pumps. Now, if you're going to train to be a top athlete, you can't wear pumps, they're not going to support you properly, you know, and you can lead to injuries. So they come up now, is it fast enough? Because if it's around 58, that will suit Diane Edwards. It's outside that, it's 59, 62, but all going well at the moment. The thing about Diane Modal Sports Foundation is it helps you not know just your sport abilities, but it helps your personality, makes you a better person. When I was with Diane Modal Sports Foundation, my confidence went so high. I took um, a lot of opportunities in school working with young kids. I was a sports leader, a senior ambassador in sports in my school. So thanks to Diane, she helped me achieve the most out of me. Yeah, definitely there's been times where, you know, I just wanted to pack it in and, you know, just quit. But, you know, looking at Diane's and the team's experience and knowledge and, you know, their achievements, um, it's definitely, you know, just given me, you know, another drive. It gives greater focus to know that there's a, you know, support team behind you and it, it gives me more confidence and, you know, a willingness to work harder and, you know, just make the MSF proud. Since I've been with the foundation, I've grown to love athletics and I think it will always be a part of my life now. When I start the race, I start off feeling really nervous, but then by the end of it, when I've performed well, I feel like I've achieved something and I feel a sense of pride. Two Canadians are now really dropped off the pace and Diane Edwards, who's led from the gun, has got to Anne Williams for company, 131.08 at 600 metres. We ended up with a young lad and he'd never seen a track before, never wore spikes before, and he went into his first race and he just blew them all away. And I just stood there with my mouth wide open at a gasp at how he just took off in his first race and left everybody with this beautiful technique and I was, I was amazed. I'm still amazed now. And there's a terrific run for the line now. Anne Williams having a go at Diane Edwards. Having a go, coming into the picture. It's when the old, but no, it's a terrific run. It's an all-round development of the child, which I think no school can pass up, really. Particularly in terms of her education, um, where she's much more focused on her education. She's much more focused on um, achieving goals outside of sport because she's learned the discipline from sport. Any benefits have got to be lifelong because they'll encourage the athletes to continue participating in sports, from our point of view, hopefully athletics, but at least sports. And if not, the experiences that they've taken away from the sessions hopefully will be as valid, if not more so, in just life. The MSF will play a huge role in my future because you know the, they're always there's always that constant um, support behind me and you know that constant um, belief team behind me so you know it will you know encourage me in my career. Seb Cole when he said we're, in, we're here to inspire a generation 
And it's only after the games I realised what him and Diane kept saying all the time, aspiring generation, aspiring generation. And I realised that's what they're going on about. And I thought, if you've got talented kids out there, don't let them waste their talent. Let them use it, make a better life for themselves, no matter what sport it is. Diane Edwards and Anne Williams, their shoulder to shoulder, there's a metre in it, but it's Diane Edwards for Anne Williams from Sharon's shirt there. And then Lorraine Baker from Wendy Old, a cracking run, and that is a new Commonwealth Games record of 2-0-0-25, and friend, she lived up to her promise, didn't she?